Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki. I thank you for coming back today. Thank you guys so much for all your support and be sure that you are indeed subscribed. Look down below, make sure that button is not red, make sure it's clicked in gray and you're all connected and you will come back for more Nikki Wonderland fun. So today guys, I'm getting a little personal with you again. I'm sharing with you my top five books that mean the most to me. So a um, little background on me as a child, I love to read. I remember getting, um, I think it was probably the fourth grade or something where I got a Nancy Drew set. Um, Nancy Drew, and that's actually the first one on my list here, but I remember getting a set of those books and actually reading them and talking about those books with, you know, my sister or friends or anything like that. And so really guys, I love to read as a child and I, I really think that that is a very important thing to instill in your children. So again, guys, my top five, the first one I just mentioned was the Nancy Drew series. Nancy Drew, not the Hardy Boys. I don't know why I could never get into the Hardy Boys, but they were connected. Um, I think Nancy was dating one of the Hardy Boys or something in the books, but loved, loved mysteries guys love that nancy drew was a young girl and solved mysteries and that was one of my favorite things and it actually turned me into an inquisitive person i think reading that type of book as a child made me want to to investigate things more because of her so the nancy drew series definitely loved as a child the next one i read in school that made a huge impact on me was the diary of Anne frank um you know, this was the kitty version of this story, of course, in high school or not high school, but like junior high elementary, where we were learning about Anne Frank and the struggles of the Holocaust and things like that. And I think that's the part that resonated with me. She, she wrote from a child's perspective, but then yet so adult at the same time. And I felt connected with her. I felt the fear, you know, in the roof of the house and are they coming for us and everything like that. And I just really, really love that story. And I probably go back and reread like maybe another author's version or another, another version of that story. That's a little bit more detailed, but love diary of Anne Frank. Um, the next one was a book that they actually made a movie with Michael Douglas. And this was death watch. And this was like a survivor type of thing. And that's what intrigued me about this book. I even went back here recently and downloaded this book onto my Kindle so that I could read it again. And it's still, it's at a, you know, high school level, middle school, high school level, but I still love this book. And it was such a good book that they actually took Michael Douglas, who's, you know, he's a worthy actor and they did a movie it referencing this book. And I think it's awesome. I mean, it, it's so intense. I love that story. So if you like intense survivor, like stories, you know, the guy stuck in the desert and the guy, other guys hunting him and the guy has to survive and he has no shoes and he's thirsty, all that kind of stuff. It was really good. So the next, um, and this is, this is one that I haven't had a chance to read all of the book yet. I'm still working on it, but it is the help. Uh, there's the movie, the help, and then there's the book, the help. Now it is a fiction story, but I'm sorry to say the story is very close to that. It could be actually a realistic story. You know, the people are fake. The, the names and the events are fake, but the context of the story is real. And I think the movie with, of course, being said that the actors in it were phenomenal. Um, I think that the movie did it very good justice so far from what I've read in the book that I probably will go back and watch the movie again and read the book again and back and forth. So the help, if you have not read or even seen the movie, pick it up, read it or go see the movie. You'll see what I'm talking about. Very good story. And then finally, um, as far as books go, the number one book I could think of as a child that changed my life was Helen Keller. Okay. I think Helen Keller, the person and her book are there. There's something so there's something so deep and something so 
in not intense i guess the right word is to say there's something so strong and emotional and fearless about reading helen keller because you have a person here who is both blind and deaf which is deaf which are two things we depend so much on and you can kind of get along with one or the other but when you have both of your primary main senses gone and you have to and you become this person and you have to live i think that her story was just amazing like there's she's one of those people that deserves a, a solid place in everybody's history everybody should know about helen keller and so if you find the book any book by helen keller or the books that she um the ones that she wrote or the autobiography or anything about Helen Keller, I would suggest that you read it, look into it. I know there's some movies, but reading her actual writing was incredible. And I think that it's definitely worth, you know, a sit down and read. Um, one little extra credit point here, as far as books go, one of my favorite current authors right now, and I am an older lady now, so Nora Roberts, uh, slash J.D. Robb. I know that she writes as J.D. Robb and she's writing the intense romantic thrillers and then Nora Roberts, she writes as like pretty much herself uh, when she's writing the more uh, suspenseful thrillers, the ones that are more love story or not suspenseful thrillers, more of the romantic thrillers than the suspenseful thriller. You know, it's like two different personalities. And I love some of her books recently like Blue Smoke, I read the three books that she wrote about the twins. I think it was the twins. And then there's some, there's one, a fourth book about the sons. So it was four kids and I read the three girls. And then, you know, I'm working on reading the one about the brothers. So really uh, a great author, you know, for us 20 something, 30 something people who want to read something more mature. Definitely a good author. Look into Nora Roberts. And Danielle Steele. Sometimes got to have a little Danielle Steele. So anyway, guys, thank you for coming back and learning a little bit more about Nikki today. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Wait, like, of course. Click the like button. I really need you to do that, of course. And then, of course, share, subscribe. Do all that kind of stuff, guys. Really love you. Take care. And I will see you in the next video. Come back.